Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to have a look at uh, Equity First Bank San Francisco. Uh, so we have to dispense all available cash from connected ATMs. Uh, and as we can see there is a unknown number of ATMs in each section and to make matters worse these numbers here um, while they don't change on the position they because they're not always available we can't just sort of say oh yeah use these values so hmm so to start with um, actually also reading over the documentation uh, I'll just do one manually just so we make sure that we understand how we can withdraw cash um, so we need to jump into the appropriate one so in our case we'll jump into we'll jump at 800 for now yep and then we just spent some money and we can do that by doing uh, I think just copying and being 20 so bills come out in 20 so when you when you ask for 20 it will dispense one bill so in this case I think it will bring it down yep cool okay, this is gonna take quite a few cycles but for now we are just gonna increment until we have no cash left in the machine so uh, we can add a loop I guess yeah mark loop uh, and then we'll just test to see if cash is greater than zero. So this will just test to see how much is left in the cash machine. And if it is greater than zero, uh, then we'll jump back into our loop and then halt. So in theory, this should just keep deducting cash. <coughs> Sorry. However, that's just one machine. So now we've got the other problem of multiple machines. Hmm. We could do it two ways. The only problem is that because we don't we don't know if a machine is going to exist, if we try to enter a uh, a link with no machine, it will just destroy our exa. So I think our best bet here will be to use the replicate command, which replicates our exa. Um, multiple times so what we might do is when we are uh, we'll do it like here so when we're here what we'll do is we'll replicate and then we'll enter all six so I'll show you what I mean so um, instead of link 800 here we'll do a uh, replicate 800 oops Um, and 800 needs to reference a marker, so we're going to have to have a marker for this. Uh, so mark 800. Actually this works really well. So then we'll do mark 800 and then we'll link and then just jump to our loop. Because our loop's logic is exactly the same. It's not relevant. It's not reliant on what link you're in. So I'm pretty sure we can more or less just do this. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, seven times. Oops, sorry. I mean, it's not the prettiest way to do it, but it works and it's understandable. It's not super confusing. So, seven? Ah. Oh. That's one too many, I think. Yeah. And we need to change these link values. Uh, yep, yeah. and basically, I think this is all we need to do. Uh, does this work? Aha! Uh -huh, it's working! <laughs> and it should just halt for all of these, so we'll go next. 
Hey, cool, it's working. Let's make sure it works for every single one. Um, this is not ideal for cycles, but I think one thing I could probably do to improve is to uh, multiply this value for copy. Uh, but I will have a look at that later. See you in the next one.